Today from the Feeling Good Kitchen, we're making some incredible organic dishes just for you with guest chef Jerry Manthe. Now I want to stress the fact that all of these ingredients are 100% organic. Why? 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 Because I have a date coming over and I need a quick hors d'oeuvre appetizer that is fantastic. Stress relief with yoga expert Mary Dignan. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. My light shines to yours. Namaste. Jeez. All right, we can squeeze a little more lemon and again with the battered sugar just because it's well, bad sugar, bad. Oh. Hi, I'm Sue Dye Steinhauer and welcome to Feeling Good, the show that combines great organic food, fun and exercise designed to make you the very best you can be. Hi everybody, you're watching Feeling Good and I'm your host, Jerry Manthe. Today, we are going to make stuffed chicken breasts, and I'm talking yummy. Goat cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, and fresh basil, served alongside haricots verts and red potatoes. So let me introduce you to some of the ingredients. First, we have some nice red potatoes, and this is definitely my all-time favorite ingredient in any dish that I make, fresh basil. Also, some chopped Italian parsley, Fresh chopped garlic. Also, we've got a nice chopped red onion. We've also got some slivered almonds. Another one of my favorite ingredients, sun-dried tomatoes. This is a very simple ingredient, fresh squeezed lemon juice. And this one, it's nice and zesty, just the way I like it, champagne vinegar. And goat cheese is definitely one of my favorites. Now these are the French style cut beans, the haricots verts. Now kosher salt is definitely what I recommend. Another great aperitif here for any salad dressing, Dijon mustard, and of course, olive oil. And this is just a simple sugar, organic sugar, raw. Over here we've got butter, all right, so this is definitely the most important ingredient here, our chicken breast, which is also 100% organic. I got it from the market, and it comes straight from my favorite chicken farm, Mary's Chicken Farm. This chicken had a vegetarian diet. It was free range. It got to run around in a field and be happy. So I know for a fact that when we eat this, we're going to be happy too. The first step is to take the breast. We've already removed the tenderloin off of it, which is the, the little piece on the side. It's kind of extra. Save it. It's also very tasty. I like to nibble on that while this is cooking. That's generally what I do. Now, find the, uh, the side that has been cut where the tenderloin was. And I'm going to cut a small pocket in the breast. Now, you want to be careful not to butterfly it, which would be to slice it all the way across and then open it up. What you want to do is you want to make a little pocket, giving yourself plenty of room to get all the yummy ingredients in there. Put your finger in, kind of move it around, open the pocket up. Perfect. Now, the first thing I like to put in there is the sun-dried tomatoes. So we will start with those. Our lovely, juicy, succulent, sun-dried tomatoes soaked in olive oil. Just go ahead and slide those inside our pocket. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I'm already hungry. <laughs> Alrighty. Next, we're gonna go with the fresh basil. Yay! And you can never have too much basil. And next up, we're gonna put in our goat cheese. Yay, goat cheese! I'm not sure which farm this came from, but I know that it, these goats were fed yummy, healthy stuff. Once again, going organic here on Feeling Good. 
Now here's where the little kitchen secret comes to play. The oil drenched toothpicks. They're easily slid into the breast. See that little goat cheese wants to slide out. It likes to do that, it's tricky stuff. Just pinch the pocket shut across the front. Very carefully, and don't forget to take these out after you cook the chicken, because I've done that before and it's very painful. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Two should do it. Now, next step is going to put them in our marinating plate. And uh, let's see, kosher salt, going to season very delicately both sides of the chicken breast. And our fresh cracked pepper. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, I love fresh cracked pepper. So there we go, it's nice and seasoned. Now we're going to take the lemon juice and drizzle it over the top of the breast. Now lemon juice is a great thing to use when you're trying to tenderize meats. Acids will break down the tough textures of any meat. So remember that next time you're thinking about steaks or, or anything that you're worried about overcooking or you just can't seem to get right. All right, we're also gonna put a little bit of olive oil. So this is gonna sit in our marinade pretty much for the, the time it's gonna take for us to blanch and shock our green beans and to boil our potatoes. And by then, it'll be ready to go. Don't touch that dial because you're watching Feeling Good. And you wanna feel good, don't you? Zero. Hi, my name is Mary Dignan and welcome to the Feeling Good Gym. Let's take a moment to just focus in on the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. You can feel your spine lengthen as you inhale. And feeling any tension melting away from your body as you exhale. Go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale through the nose, feeling that spine lengthen. And exhale, feeling any of that tension you might be holding, maybe in that place between your eyes, maybe in your shoulders and your thighs, just melting away. Good. Now take the awareness to your body. Feel where you feel a little openness, a little length, a little centeredness. Holding here, just finding where you are in your body. Yoga means union, so we're constantly trying to connect our breath and our bodies, our minds, and our spirits together. And take a moment to focus in on your mind. Do you have a little better sense of clarity, serenity? Always remembering that you can bring yourself to this place throughout your day, throughout your week. Whatever life throws at you, this is something that you have control over. With that, let's take one more deep breath, inhaling our palms up overhead, and exhaling our hands to the heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. My light shines to yours. Namaste. Okay, so we've already got some water boiling on the stove. Now it's very important to salt your water, just like the sea. That way it helps season the vegetables before you even put them in there. So. Going to put our red potatoes. These should take somewhere around eight to 10 minutes. Uh, you just want them fork tender, not mushy. And what I'm about to do now is show you a little trick. It's called blanching and shocking. Now this is the best way to keep your vegetables with their color intact. Uh, typically when you boil vegetables, their, their color bleeds into the water. So you blanch and shock, in this case, our green beans. Drop them into salted water. And they will stay in there for probably a 
just a couple minutes. Um, again, you want to keep the snap. A good way to test them is to pull one out. You want it to bend and then snap. Uh, that way they're still nice and crispy. All right, now in the meantime, I am going to heat my cast iron skillet. See how lovely green they are. They're beautifully green, perfect right now. So I'm pulling them out, putting them into the ice bath. Now we have officially stopped the cooking process. And we'll hold them until right before we serve them when we toss them in some butter garlic and throw in the slivered almonds. Ah, amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and heat it till just before the smoking point and then add in our olive oil. Add my olive oil to the cast iron skillet. Ah, oh, perfect. Now pretty much when you're using a cast iron skillet, what you're doing is you're giving your food a brown, a nice brown color. So we're gonna make sure that both sides are nicely browned and then slide it into the oven to finish cooking. And while our chicken is getting nice and brown in our cast iron skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the beginning process of the Heracux Verit. And we're going to use butter instead of olive oil. I just like it a little better when it comes to vegetables like this, because it's not about the olive oil. This is about the almonds, the garlic, the beans. Olive oil has a very distinct flavor, so I like to be picky about which, which uh, items I use. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the slivered almonds, because these take a little while to get brown. Kosher salt. And some chopped garlic. Yum. I really don't think any meal is complete without garlic. <laughs> now let's check the chicken. It should be browned on one side. Oh yes. Look at that nice golden brown color. Nice golden brown color on that chicken breast. Okay, well the chicken is ready to be finished off in the oven. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Now, to get started for the potatoes vinaigrette, I am going to start with the champagne vinegar. A little bit of kosher salt. Some Dijon mustard, which I recommend highly to help blend the oil and vinegar together. And go ahead and whisk that up a little bit. Okay, let's throw in a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. And some salt. That's just to cut the edge of the vinegar for you a little bit. Now I'm gonna give you a quick little vinaigrette lesson. A lot of people wanna dump everything in all at once and whisk it up. What you wanna do is drizzle the oil very slowly, starting with just a couple of drops. Whisk it up. What this is gonna do is help bond the vinegar and the oil. So it won't separate on you. That's basically what we're trying to avoid here. Let's grab the potatoes and just drop them in your vinaigrette. It's about enough for two servings, which is perfect. Go ahead and coat your potatoes.
I'm gonna drop some red onion. Remember the finely chopped red onion? And those can sit aside. Now on to the Heracotes Vert. I'm so excited, I can barely stand it. So right now they're still sitting in the ice bath. The cooking process has been stopped, so we need to reheat them with all the flavors we've created in the pan with the almonds and the garlic and the butter and the salt. I'm so excited. That's good enough. Toss these around. Oh, these look so good. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of kosher salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. Some fresh cracked pepper. The almonds are perfectly browned. You can smell the garlic. Got our golden brown chicken. Look at the color on that. It's so exciting. Remove the toothpicks. Woo! Nice and hot. <laughs> Thank God I oiled them so they'd be easy to come out. <laughs> oh la la. Very hot. I'm gonna slice this open for you. You can see the layers. Oh, goat cheese just oozing out. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. All right. Go ahead and plate this here for you. Now our yummy marinated Red potatoes. Oh, I can just smell all of these incredible aromas. Our hair coats there. It's the nice toasty brown almonds. Finish it off with a little cracked pepper. and some fresh parsley. Look at that plate. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's good for you. Welcome back to the Feeling Good Kitchen. I'm Sujai Steinhauer. And I'm Erin Lee. And what are we cooking today? This looks so fresh and lovely. Well, today we're not doing any cooking. Oh, excellent. We're glad to hear. Uh, we are slicing and dicing. It's a chilled orange dish mm. uh, inspired by my travels in Morocco. Ooh, Morocco, how exotic. Yes. Excellent. Um, we have some sliced medjidol dates. And uh, these are the whole medjidol dates before they're sliced. Um, then we have some honey, wild honey over honey. here. Honey, got it. The green stuff is mint. Mm. We have some toasted almonds, um, some ground cinnamon, freshly squeezed orange juice. All right. And a little bit of organic red wine. Oh, my favorite thing. Okay, so there's our ingredients. What are we gonna do with them? Okay, we are gonna slice our oranges okay. like this. You wanna cut both sides of the orange off. All right. And then peel down. You wanna get rid of all the white. Is that the pith? That's the pith. Do you see how, do you see what's happening to me? I'm becoming a culinary genius. Spend time in the feeling good kitchen and that's what will happen. <laughs> so you're not being crazy about it though. It's not, it's, no, a little I, bit is okay. Right, well, we're gonna go back onto that bit. Oh, I mean, we are going to be of, crazy about yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna oh, be crazy, because it's okay. all about... Presentation. Presentation. Understood. So we're gonna cut these into slices. Okay. They're <laughs> thin and gorgeous. Thin and gorgeous. <laughs> and what are they going to look like when you're finished there, with that? There's a plate right next to you. Look at that! Oh, those are pretty. Those are, yeah. Those are really pretty. I so, did not do these. These actually look gorgeous. They are, I cut those earlier. Okay. I'm gonna move this chopping board so we can make the marinades. Now, can you make this for other things besides dessert? Could you put them over green, say, for lunch or something? You could. I actually have a great uh, salad with fennel, orange, and potato. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, we're going to make the marinade now. Okay. So we're going to pick a little bit of red wine. 
Any recipe that uses wine, I'm in. Some orange juice. We just squeeze one of these oranges. Okay. A little bit of honey. Okay. And we're actually going to use those mint At the to, to garnish. And almonds and dates to garnish, exactly. Magical dates. Magical. Say that 10 times fast. Magical dates, magical dates, magical dates. <laughs> That's how you make the food good, if you say it fast 10 times. And then we can just pour that. And we just want to make sure it's... You don't glob it on. Right. Lovely. Garnish time. Garnish time. Okay, so we just put these date slices on, and this is a great time. You can eat it as is, or you can put them in the fridge, and they chill. How do you know that we used enough wine? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a two tasting. You don't want it too whiny. Um, you're just putting that there for like a little bit of depth of flavor, but because mm. we're not cooking it or anything, it's, it's straight alcohol. Um, it just adds. Is it time for my mint? Uh, yeah, you can put a little bit of mint on there. All over? Uh, or yes. just like it, okay. All over. This is called, this cut's called a chiffonade. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. chiffonade. You are so international. Mm -hmm. Chiffonade. And uh, some toasted almonds. Is chiffonade the name of the dish or the name no, of? No, just the oh, cut that's of the mint. Cut the way of it's the a French word. A lot of cooking terms ah, come from the French. Yes. Like the sauté. Yes. It means to jump. Saute means to jump. It comes from the to jump because you're putting something in very high heat in the pan and, it's and it jump. jumps. Oh, that. and there we have. Is it time to eat? Let's clear away first. All right, cleaning up. We always clean up first. You're right. It's always better when you clean up first. It just looks prettier. Can we leave these out for fun? No. All right. <laughs> I felt your no there. I felt it. Okay, now are we ready? Okay, I know that you can never stop. You're dying to taste it, but usually we would put this in the fridge to chill. So it's nice so and cool. So it would be cold. really cold. Okay. I think I can handle it without being in the fridge. But we'll see. Mmm. Oh my gosh, those flavors together are fantastic. They work well, right? They work so well, and the mint just adds a little zing. Absolutely. I'm going to Morocco. You absolutely should. Right. Amazing cuisine. Great flavors, light, healthy, delicious. It's fantastic. I'm going to buy my ticket today. I'm Sujai Steinhauer. And I'm Erin Lee. See you next time. I'm um, Feeling Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going in for more. Check us out on the web at feelinggood.tv. F-E-E-L-I-N good.tv. Now, I want to stress the fact that all of these ingredients are 100% organic, and why? Well, I think it's a very important thing that we know what we put into our bodies. And if you do a little research, you'll be very surprised to find what exactly is in the food that you're buying in the grocery store. Most of it nowadays is genetically modified, which is not good for your system. So, I am a firm believer in spending a little extra money, and it's really not that much more, and getting 100% organic. I want people to know that I'm passionate about food, passionate about feeling good, about life. I think the really good ingredients are really important, and I like to have fun. I'm approachable, energetic, juicy, um, 